Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good morning, Alicia Malone. Thank you for joining us from Fandango. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to talk to you. It's it's my joy. Well, you're gonna you know you're gonna make us movie savvy here. I think <laughs> you know they got a lot of great movies out. My uh, reviewer just did a review on Alice Through the Looking Glass. Yes, but there's so many more out there. Catch us up on what we need to see. Well, this weekend, I think the big winner will be X-Men Apocalypse. Now, the last previous, the previous two X-Men, uh, First Class and Days of Future Past, both did really well. And so I think people are really looking forward to seeing Apocalypse, which is about this huge villain, Apocalypse, played by Oscar Isaac, who comes to destroy the world. But don't worry, the X-Men are here. But as far as summer movies are concerned, the one I'm really looking forward to, Valde, is Finding Dory. I think Finding Dory is going to be a huge hit this summer. The sequel to Finding Nemo, Ellen DeGeneres voicing this little forgetful fish Dory who is now looking for her family and I think it's going to be really sweet and really funny. It is and I love just I just love Dory. <laughs> me too. It made it made me like Ellen DeGeneres, really. Yeah, I love her voice. I love how she forgets every a couple of seconds. She has such a short term memory. And just watching this trailer, this just came out, if you go online and you look at it, it actually is quite emotional and it made me tear up in a weird way. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. We've got a great summer ahead of us. Okay, what else is on the menu? Well, Jason Bourne is going to be a big one too. This is the fifth installment of the Spy franchise and Matt Damon is back as Jason Bourne. He plays, you know, the sleeper agent who returns after seven years in hiding. I think it looks like the plot takes a lot more twists and turns like the previous three movies we've seen. And it also stars Alicia Vikander who just won an Oscar this year. I really like her. I think she's an interesting actress and she'll add something different to the Jason Bourne mix. Plus, there's plenty more exotic locations, including Greece and Vegas, where he does this huge car chase down the strip. And I think the combination of the big action with the neon lights will be something striking and something quite different for Jason Bourne. I don't know if it can get more exciting. I just watched the original this weekend. Yay. And the car chase through the market was just, I couldn't hardly breathe. I can't imagine a new one. I know. I'm so excited to say I love Matt Damon as Jason Bourne. I think he he's so great because he's such a relatable guy. He's an everyman. You, you want to follow him along on his adventures. Same time, he really kicks some butt. Like, he does well. <laughs> Yeah, he's like all the rest of us. We really wish we could fight, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I, know. I love this. This is going to be a great summer. Okay, what are, do you have anything for the kids? Yeah, well, apart from Finding Dory, there's also a really cute-looking animated film called The Secret Life of Pets. The thing I love about family films is when it takes things like toys or animals and gives them human qualities. So this one is all about what happens when you leave for work for the day. What do your pets do? What do they get up to? Do they have their own friends? What goes on? And so it's all about this little dog who has to deal with a, a, another dog coming into his place, his brother. He's not too happy about sharing his owner. 
and there's this whole little ecosystem of dogs within New York and, and cats as well. And I just love it. It looks so cute and so funny. And also if you're at home, you can go to fandangonow.com and you can rent or buy Zootopia. This one is a really sweet animated film. It's set in this kind of utopian world for animals where all the animals get along. There's no predators, no prey. And it's about this little rabbit who is the first rabbit in the police force in Zootopia who goes out to investigate these animal disappearances that have started happening. It's just a really sweet movie, great characters for kids to watch and a nice little message too about getting along with everyone. I like that. All right, then these are some great movies. How can my, how can we get our tickets ahead of time if we want to go to the movie? You got any inside scoop on that? Yeah, well, you just have to go to Fandango.com. That's where you can find all your movie tickets. Also, don't forget to download our app because you can do it right on your smartphone, which is so handy. And yeah, if you want to stay home, in addition to going to the movies, you can go to FandangoNow.com and look at all the movies that are available to rent and buy. So no excuse not to uh, watch as many movies as you can this summer. <laughs> Alicia Moore, how cool is your job? I love your job, and if I ever leave mine, please, I'm going to call you. I know. It's a dream job. I get to watch movies all day and talk about movies. I love it. Oh, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Alicia Moore from Fandango, thanks for being my guest and giving us such great summer information. I'm ready for summer now. Thanks, Al.